The Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom can be called the Galaxy Camera Mini. It is essentially an S4 Mini with a big lens attached to it. The lens is a 24mm wide angle with up to 10x zoom. This has made the device much chunkier, though it's nowhere near as big as the Galaxy camera. From the front, it's hard to tell that the S4 Zoom is in fact the S4 Mini. It has the same 4.3 inch Super AMOLED display with QHD resolution and the same key arrangement, hardware home and capacitive back and menu. It gets more interesting at the top. Here are the power lock key, the volume rocker, and the hardware shutter key. To the left, there's the 3.5mm audio jack, the secondary microphone, and the IR blaster. The main microphone is at the bottom. Also here is the MHL-enabled micro USB port. You can open this to reveal the battery, which gets locked into place with the lever. At the bottom is the micro USB card slot if you want to expand the built-in storage and the lanyard island. Also here is the tripod mounting hole, which is plugged with a small stopper. You should be careful not to lose it. Time to turn to the camera side of things. The lens protrudes quite a bit and has a ring around it. The ring rotates smoothly, there are no discrete steps, but the Galaxy S4 Zoom will make a clicking sound as you turn it. The camera is accompanied by a xenon flash with an LED light. The LED can be used as video, as video and focus light. The loudspeaker is also here. One-handed shooting is possible, but we always get the feeling we're about to drop the device. The shutter key is on the right side, and the Galaxy Zoom is fairly heavy, not to mention that the glossy plastic offers very little grip. One thing we did appreciate is that the camera disables the capacitive buttons, which are very easy to press accidentally when trying to snap a photo. The Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom runs Android 4.22 out of box with almost the same TouchWiz customizations that the S4 Mini has. That includes the widget-enabled lock screen, the customizable home screen, and the notification area with its toggles and brightness slider. The line of toggles can be scrolled to the side, or you can reveal all of them at once with a tap or two-finger swipe. Samsung has also preloaded some of its exclusive apps like Group Play and Watch On, plus Paper Artist, Story Album, Photo, and Video Editors, and the Photo Suggest app, which helps you discover places nearby that are worth shooting. The camera interface is a revamped version of what the Galaxy camera got. You can shoot photos in auto mode, but there are various fun and creative modes you can try, including Smart Suggest, which will try to get the appropriate mode automatically. Of course, advanced users will want to go into the expert mode. Here you can adjust just about any setting you can think of. ISO, aperture, shutter speed, colors, and more. If you're just starting off in photography, the info button is always available to help you out with the terminology. My mode lets you add up to five shortcuts from the smart and expert modes. The lens ring controls the optical zoom, but you can also use the volume rocker. The S4 zoom can get up to 10x zoom compared to the 21x for the Galaxy camera. The ring can also be used to zoom in on photos in the gallery, it has yet another use. It can be used to select a mode to launch the camera in. Samsung has also included the Nifty Sphere app, which is a social networking centered app on capturing and sharing spherical panoramas. It's different from both the native Android Photo Spheres and Samsung's own 360 Photo. Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom can shoot 1080p videos at 30 FPS or 720p videos at 60fps. It can go as far as 120fps, but the resolution drops to 512p. The zoom also boasts optical image stabilization, which really helps when shooting while zooming. You can zoom during video recording, and you can enable the quiet zoom option to avoid noise from the zoom mechanism also getting recorded.